Welcome to the QuickBooks video series hosted by Proti Academy. Today we'll be taking a look at processing bank transactions. From your home screen, go to transactions, bank transactions. This will bring up a list of all the transactions we previously imported in the previous video. Click on the first transaction to process this into QuickBooks. You'll see that this gives you four options, categorize, match, record as a transfer and record as a credit card payment. The first transaction we're gonna look at is we're gonna categorize it. The first step is to add a vendor or customer name. Secondly, you'll go find the account that you want to process it to under the category. In the memo, this is what imported per the bank Excel. You can also add an attachment like a receipt or you can choose one of the other three options. We'll look at this in more detail later. If we click categorization history, it will show you what was previously done for these types of vendors. As you can see, we haven't processed a transaction to this vendor before, so it had no detail. Once you're happy, click confirm. This has now processed the transaction into QuickBooks. Let's click on the second transaction. As you can see, this is a FedEx transaction. We do the same thing here, choose a vendor or customer. If the vendor or customer is not in QuickBooks, you can add it by bringing up the add vendor screen. Once you've added the vendor, go to category and choose your account. Check your memo is right and then once you're happy you can click confirm let's go to the next fedex charge the customer has now come up as quickbooks has realized that's where you want to process it to and the category is the same if we now click on categorization history we'll see the previous charge that we processed earlier You can also create a rule or assign a category. We'll look at those in future videos. Over here, it's asking if you want to use the same category for all federal expenses. We want to say no. In a future video, we'll show you how to create rules. Let's go to this first transaction. QuickBooks is telling us that it has found a match for this transaction. To see more details about the match, go to find other matches. This will bring up the options you have to match it. At the moment, the toggle is on suggested matches. If you click that off, you'll see all the options you have to match it. As you can see that Michelle Bosman Invoice is a match to the payment, so we click on match. Match basically matches a payment to an invoice that you already have in QuickBooks. Let's go look at the invoice. There's the Michelle Bosman invoice. If we go to her customer account, We will now see that the invoice is there and the payment has been matched. This means that your balance is showing as zero and helps you keep your accounts receivable summary report clean. Let's look at an expense item now. QuickBooks is also suggesting a match for this rental. Let's go find other matches. As you can see, we have a match with a rent bill already in QuickBooks. If we click on the square icon on the left, this will match the payment to that bill, creating the balance for rent to become zero and keeping your accounts payable account clean. Look at this first transaction. If you happen to make a mistake, like I choose FedEx for the vendor when this is clearly an Amazon expense and I process that to QuickBooks. I can then go to the categorize icon at the top. 
This will show you a list of all transactions already processed through the bank needs. If you click on the transaction that we said was Amazon but wasn't, you can click on the box and click undo. This will bring it back to the full review tab. Here is the transaction we made an error on. If you click on it again, you can now go and rather make it the customer Amazon as it should be. If you don't have this customer in QuickBooks, you can add it in. We also then need to recategorize because as soon as QuickBooks saw FedEx, it took it to shipping and postage. Once we've chosen the right category, we can confirm the transaction and now it is processed correctly. If you find a transaction that you may have already posted in QuickBooks through maybe a manual entry, you can click exclude. You can find these transaction in the excluded tab. Over here is the transaction we already excluded. If you exclude something by mistake, you can click undo and it will return to the full review tab to be processed into QuickBooks. There are also a few other things you can do in the bank transactions list, like print the list, export it to Excel, or click the gear icon. This allows you to change the columns, add groups, and change the transaction detail you see. Now you're ready to go and process all the transactions on the bank transaction tab. Join us next time on Proto Academy QuickBooks video series, where we take a look at bank reconciliation.